Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palska International, new artist and educator, and I hope you have really liked those beautiful rings you have seen. Uh, I've got them here as well, you can just take one out and pop them into your fingers and they look so stunning, like you can match them with your nails and I think that will look even better like if we create the same uh, colors of the stones uh, to match your nails. And I will show you exactly how to recreate those beautiful uh, rings which you could wear for any kind of occasion. And also thank you so much for all your shares, all the new subscribers, all the existing ones which keep this channel going, all the members as well. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. And if you have liked this tutorial, hit the share button as well. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. Let's start. So I show you them from like zoom in position as well. And they're absolutely stunning. They look actually like on real rings and uh, I will show you a few different types. Also this one, uh, you can see it, it has some glitter underneath, so it looks pretty, pretty nice as well. And this one is my favorite one and I think it goes with the set I've got on my right hand as well. I think it looks so pretty, so really, really nice ring it doesn't show like it is a ring made out of the new products and i will show you a few different ones just to keep you busy during this lockdown and i think it's also a fantastic idea you could even sell those uh, rings uh, especially now when we don't have a clients because the sounds are shut so you are going to need the forms and i have tried a few different ways like believe me i had my false fails and the success uh, things and the best way for me to do it is on the forms i have tried it on this part of the paper i have tried it on the tape um, measuring the re like with the tree that with the thread the size of the rings and this way it just works perfectly for me so you can measure the size of your fingers applying the form i don't need to really measure because uh, I'm just doing a couple different sizes and what I find that is when I tap when I close those tabs like this is going to fit my ring finger and then here a little bit higher I'm going to be able to do a ring for a middle finger so what I'm doing now is I'm closing the form into this rounded shape so you can see it's rounded shape roll it properly make sure it's really nicely closed and then once you're happy with it i also find it that i need to hold this for something so i'm closing this tabs and using this tab so i'm able to close it and my fingers don't get stick to it so this way i've got my form ready for a ring measurements and then you just check like you, you putting your finger like and you, you measure uh, the size so then you know if it's going to fit or not okay so this form will fit my middle finger and we are going to use the acrylic powder and acrylic liquid i'm not the acrylic girl as you all know but yeah you will find some acrylics uh, designs here as well <laughs> And that's the rings. I hope you really um, enjoyed this tutorial, uh, like because I think the results are wow, well, impressing. And if you do, please share so the others can see it as well. If you're new to this channel, hit hit the subscribe button. Uh, so I've got this. Also, oh, there is a tutorial on those beauties painting with my left hand. This one's this one. So lots of interesting things. And then I've got this form ready. We spent actually all day with Olivia uh, doing those rings today. <laughs> and she made a really beautiful job too. So I've got my acrylic ready. And now I can just start applying it on the form. Uh, 
and you can make a different sizes you can make them thinner you can make them thicker whatever you really like so i'm just making a nice shape and once i'm happy with the shape i flatten it and then tidy up the shape again so i have less filing to do it I'm trying to pick, pick up like a really large beads. And I'm quite uh, working quite watery. You can also see I'm constantly introducing more monomer just so I can play longer with the ring. So really therapeutic <laughs> and uh, I will also show you guys what uh, ring Olivia made because she's still playing with it just opposite me. Okay and the last part so we can join it in. Make sure you blend that nice. You could also do it with the poly gel as well. But I find that the acrylics are pretty flexible and it takes about um, 24 to 48 hours for uh, acrylic to fully polymerized. Now, and this is a good tip for you guys. If you have a sensitive skin, please wait about 48 hours before you start wearing your ring. And the reason for it is Acrylic takes uh, up to 48 hours to fully polymerize. And usually the product which is giving us an allergic reaction is an uncured product. We okay and we safe to use the product which is uh, cured as only uncured version of the products. And that's why so many Niltex has an allergic reaction to the gel polishes because they have got inhibition layers. And also so many Niltex has got an um, allergic reactions to the acrylics because even if they finish the nails and they don't touch skin much they still filing on cure product because uh, acrylic takes 48 hours to fill the cure but anyway that's my ring done and my next step is to use something it could be even a gel polish bottle and just this one is too big we had the tiny tiny one somewhere Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Olivia just passing the things on me. And then you can just... And then you can just put that on top of the bottle so you don't lose your shape. And this way, like, the acrylic is going to cure properly. So leave it on the side, let it cure. And then I've got one already cured in here. So I'm just removing it. And then all what you do is you just squeeze the form and then you pick up your ring. So it is still pretty misshaped and we need to shape it and I show you how to do it. So I just put my products on the side. Always do that guys when you're filing. And take a file. And just file. I show you the difference so you can see it's already much nicer. Other side just do exactly the same. You could use also the e-file and I was using e-file for my first ones as well uh, but I find that actually the hand file does a really nice job. Okay so we've got shape done this way and now we need to smooth out on the top. So I'm keep filing 
until I'm happy. And that takes a wee while as well. And I'm not going to make you bored with this part. I will just show you the main idea. So you can see this part is already start looking nicer. And then I will just buff it. So exactly the same steps as we're doing when uh, creating a beautiful news. Um, so this way you would file this ring. And then after you filed, and I've got actually one which is a little bit filed. Actually, this one is not too bad. We could use it, but I will just put it on the side. And I've got one which I have keep filing. Uh, so this one is a filed already. Of course, the longer time we spend on it, the better results we get. So let me clean my hands from all this dust. I'm, I'm pretty fussy because uh, I'm sensitive to the acrylic and I don't like to wear the gloves. And that's the reason why I like to clean my hands straight away. And now is the time for a beautiful gem. So I thought I definitely need to show you the pink one because it's so amazing. It's like, oh my goodness, I love that. <laughs> and I'm actually going to wear it, especially for the nails. So you could do a matching rings to the set of the nails. And I think it will look just fantastic on the pictures. Okay, so once we have done this part, we can pick up a tiny bit. I'm just picking up a small bit, drawing it out, maybe a bit smaller. Place that on my ring. Okay, so you don't want this bit to be too large. And then let's take this beautiful stone. So it's already looks so pretty and that's not finished because I like lots of blink. <laughs> so just checking there, make sure it looks nice. Okay, I'm happy with the placement of the first crystal. And now picking up even smaller bead. Olivia is just passing the ring she made. I will show you that guys as well. So much smaller bit. And then another gem. Oh my goodness, this will be so pretty. Another tiny bit. Please, please share it for me. Thank you. <laughs> so, come on, turn the way I want you. So, another crystal. And uh, acrylic takes some time to cure, so we can still move them. And that looks so nice. Okay, I'm going to put that on the side uh, so my acrylic cures a bit better. I don't want to damage that. And then in the meantime, we can start doing another one. So let me squeeze that in here so I don't damage it. Otherwise, I would keep holding it in my hands, but that's a waste of the time. It is not finished ring. I mean, it could be, but it's not finished yet to me. Then on this one, I can show you because we could also use like a pre-made jewels like this ones. So you could just stick this one in and that's it. And I can actually show you that as well because that's slightly bigger one. You could also drill the holes and um, place the crystals this way. I just find it is much easier doing it like this. So I have applied another bit of the acrylic. Actually, I should hold it straight away in here. Yep, 
Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. So guys, straight away into the ring box. Because <laughs> then it's easier to cure it and easier to do anything on it. Okay. And then that's the one which we are going to place. So that's pretty simple, like, because you've got pre-made jewels. We could even prolong it. So it has slightly different shape and then put even... Yeah, I think I quite like this shape. And then put a couple more crystals right on the top. Those rings are absolutely beautiful. So the crystals I could use, I've got them here. So I'm just adding a tiny bit more. And I think that looks very pretty. I hope you think the same. It could do as an engagement ring as well. Uh, so yeah, that looks really, really nice. I show you also the ring which Olivia made. Uh, so she have filed it really nice, like and buff it, and then she painted on top of it with the gel polish. Uh, so I think it's a slightly different type of the ring, but yeah, I really like it too. And then this one is dry, so I can show you another thing what we could do. We could put also some crystal beads around it and I would use just a base uh, gel to do it. So I'm just doing a base gel, tiny bit on my mixing palette. I will just squeeze out a couple. There we are. And I can pick up my small brush. And what I'm going to do is I will just go around the crystals with my base gel and apply a couple of those beautiful tiny tiny bits. Very fiddly. <laughs> But absolutely fantastic results. <clears throat> Actually, I will do like this shape. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Very delicate, but nice. Now you have to give it a flash cure, which is a couple seconds cure. And actually, this holder is a fantastic way to do it. That's why I didn't discover it before. <laughs> so a couple seconds cure, take it out, and then we can apply another crystal beads. So the beads are absolutely fantastic um, for kind of hiding any places where we stick the crystals. So they're nice and not visible. And yeah, I will be spending probably all day tomorrow as well, like making all those different sort of rings. And uh, I've got absolutely amazing uh, red crystals and I think they will look fab as well. So that's another ring. Oh my goodness, I love them! absolutely love them and I'm going to wear them and I've got also mm, some nice red crystals as well and I think it will be absolutely uh, fantastic to do it, it with the red crystals uh, too like uh, rose and a oh, love heart shape 
Oh yes, I will make an engagement ring for Olivia. Like this one. And love heart. Do you want the love heart Olivia ring for you? Sure. Sure, she says. <laughs> yeah, we will make a beautiful love heart ring for Olivia. I think she will. I hope she will like wear it as well. But I show you this one. And then it's a time for the last step. So once I have put those crystal beads, actually I should put more in there. Oh yes, I'm just going to put more there. I'm missing one in here, one in there. But if you want them to be raised, like they kind of holding the diamond, put the base, cure it first, and then put another layer of the base. So let me do that. Give it a flash cure. Because this way we're able to kind of raise the surface. And this one, the one which we started with, is still uh, almost ready, but it is going to be too flexible. So um, even this one, you can see, you can still kind of bend it. So wait, uh, wait a pretty decent amount of the time, like uh, before you start filing them, so you don't misshape the shape. <laughs> and then one two, three, and a four. Let me pick up those tiny bits. Oh yes. Absolutely fantastic. So it looks like um, in the rings we've got those, uh, Olivia help me, those things which hold the diamonds. Okay. And polish would be zachiski or something like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some like, you know, the stuff which holds the diamond. <laughs> so pop it into the lamp and the top coat. And I will show you how to do the top coat. And basically that is going to be our last step. The top coat is tricky as well, like, um, to be applied just because we've got the round surface. But because the diamonds are already in set, uh, we, can, uh, we can do that pretty easy. But please, please, hit the share button for me. There we are. I've got so many rings to wear now. Yay! <laughs> Olivia is showing me the first one I made. It's so ugly, guys. I need to show you as well. I don't do perfect things. Like, it takes me time. It takes a practice as well. That's the first ugly one I did. So don't work with the color acrylic. Like it's more difficult, like I think, to shape it. And yeah, it's, it's ugly. <laughs> Just bin it. Okay, and it's the time to apply the stop coat. Yeah, practice makes perfect. So I'm just taking the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. And I just apply it on the ring. So now it is okay. Okay, and then you have to hold the diamond to be able to apply it on the entire ring. I want to also apply it from the underneath as well. Just so it looks nicer. It pops in easier as well. So nice amount of the top coat. On the entire ring and that was the same way I mean obviously I use it a smaller brush but that's exactly the same uh, way how I have painted the one with the glitter underneath so as many ideas you've got in your head as many options and now when I'm holding it on the diamond I need to pop it into the lamp holding with my finger uh, give it a free skewer so it is safe to drop the ring and then I can just keep it in the lamp until it's fully cures and I can do exactly the same on this one and then show you the final results that's as nice and pretty too
you can uh, wear the if you think you might touch like keep touching the product put the gloves on during those tutorial like ring making <laughs> process And I will be very happy if you hashtag Dorota Palicka to show me your rings because uh, I really would like to see them as well and see what beautiful creation you have done. So this one is cooked and I can show you the final book which we have created. Absolutely beautiful and I like it because this one is smaller and actually I'm going to make more smaller ones because when I'm taking a pictures of the needles quite often I put my hands into this position uh, so that will uh, be a knuckle ring and that's what I really really like yeah thank you so much guys for watching and bye for now <laughs>